Yes, we are back after short break, and this is Zaid's edition, my edition with Madam Rita. Madam, to umongelea kwamba ai tokea ibo tokea kula mtani suka mbango ili mwachani na mpenzi wako wa miaka kama kumi na tano. Zaid, yeah. Um, hai kukumiza mwona akiwa ame move on na mtu mungine na bado mwendelea kuungia kama marafiki. Hai kukumiza kwamba, laba let's make things work. Basi turudiane, turudi kama zamani. Tujui kama ya. Ni kuna watu ambao uh, unakuwa maisha kuwa na ukaribu mpaka mnakuwa kama ndugu. Paka yeye mwenye ukiona yeye mwenye amefurahi na kufurahisha. Umeona kwa hiyo it was I was happy to see him move on uh, like uh, well um haikuwa sikuwa na yani nilikuwa nasikia ile kwamba oh, I'm angry or I'm bitter no because um We, our bond was too big to reach kulia hiyo hiyo kama sababu ya kusikia bitterness na nini na nini so we forever be stayed as a family person to us to me and my family uh, lakini nikawa na jaribu kuendelea na mimi na mambo yangu na mashangu lakini hasikwai kuwa na oh, ile animosity yani hivyo no no yani no hata to meet and say hello to his girls is whatever yani hivyo So uh, sijui kwa nini kwa sikuwa siki vibaya. Ila ni mtu ambaye tulikuwa tunatakia na mema. Amba you, 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 you like I hope he's happy. I hope he stays happy for the rest of his life. That was my wish. And I'm sure he's too. Yeah. <laughs> That's what. Hiyo hiyo pete. Kwa hiyo bado ni lazima. Jamani watu tusivae mapete. The engagement ring. Hii. Mm. Hii pete hii. Kwa kwa kuangalia unafikiri na ni kama shilingi ngapi? Hii ya. Yeah. Hii ni diamond na platinum gold. Niko mm, it's worth like 25,000 dollars. 25,000 USD. Mhm imenishinda kuitoa nimeshaitoa na irudisha yeah sijui kwa nini kwa nini wewe um wewe me notice vipi na ivaa kweli ya naonekana ga sana sana kila same this was love of my life mtu aliyenivaisha hii pete forever will be love of my life my best friend kwa hiyo nimeshajaribu kuitoa hata miezi miwili mitatu lakini nitaitafuta paka nitaiva for me for my peace sasa <laughs> <laughs> kuna kitu sijui nasikia yani naona kama sijui nimekwambia yani we came like a family like a ndugu so maybe i should take out this one then maybe i'll find another man haikupi <laughs> shida <laughs> <laughs> kwenda kwenye relationship nyingine kwa sababu kile utaweza kawa na mtu lakini kila muda unaweza kawa unakumbuka alafu unaona kama huyo mtu haezi kufikia kama yule mtu alipokuwepo katika maisha yako Haijanipa shida kwa sababu sijai kuficha ni ya nini au kwa nini naiva Hii ndege hii nilivalishwa kwenye ndege by the way Huko foot kadhaa huko mbali sana huko Very romantic moment Eh mm, private jet Mm Mada mm. Unjo nasikia. Mshaenda. Mshakuwa ni kwenye Concord. Sidhani kama kuna kama nyinyi Concord hey. mnaijua. Ah, come on guy. Dude. Guy. Ana kule mtu alikupenda sana. Mm, vibaya sana. I enjoyed my life. Hakuna kitu kizuri cha duniani hapa ambacho sijai kuona. Hakuna same duniani sijai kufika. Hakuna any classic standard ambayo sijai ku experience. Kwa hiyo mimi hatari uh, hadi tokee nini? like um i am done i'm done. sijui kama kuna kitu kingine cha zaidi ambacho unaweza kuniniambia kikanibabaisha mimi okay ni maamuzi yangu tunaweza nkaamua yani mtu anasema ah huna tutampa huna cha kunipa mimi cha kunifanya unionyeshe ama tusijawahi kuona hakipo ndani ya hii world 
Kwa hiyo it's not like unakula na sema ah wewe sio na kwa hiyo poa tu hata nikawa sasa hivi nikawa kawaida but I've seen it all at a very young age I've seen it all what I'm trying to say here is um uh kwamba yeah is your sense to be okay a poa ikitokea ambayo iko sahihi poa lakini haihusikani na material stuff like kama ikiwa mtu happens to be that kind of a person so lakini sizani kama niko focused kwenye hivyo vitu vya nani hivyo ambavyo tulikuwa tunaongelea material stuff tu gani ni vitu vizuri lakini habini babaishi sasa nini ambacho kinakubabaisha hakuna kitu kinanibabaisha ni kitu gani ambacho wewe unataka kuintrigue kwa mtu pako sema naweza nikafoli alafu na unaweza nikafoli mimi napenda mtu ambaye ananipe atakuwa ananipenda kwa sababu mimi nikipenda mtu nampenda genuinely pia napenda mtu ambaye mimi mtu anani anani attract mimi sio sio awe sio ni sijui ni mzuri sio chuiwe ni i am attracted kwenye a brain ya mtu mama eh mara mean when a man has a good brain you gonna kill me apo that attracts me i want to talk to you straight out kiko if i'm attracted to your brain everything about you utakuwa wewe ni mzuri na wewe ni utakuwa wewe zaidi ya sijui denzel you know called all that so if you catch my brain if i am if i am attracted yani akili yako ikinivutia mimi inavutiwa na akili ya mtu kuna jinsi inanifanya niendelee kuwepo kuongea na wewe kwa muda mrefu utanibomba maana kwanza kanibomba kaondoka sasa kuna kitu <laughs> you know kwa hiyo vitu vinginevyo ni ni bonus kama ni mzuri kama ni mrefu kama ni mausi kama ni mzee kama lakini when our brains connect that that can be a relationship tap like that sikudanganye kwa sababu i'm very sure my our brains connect tutakuwa marafiki tutaweza kuongea vitu vya maana nitajifunza kitu kutoka kwako hivyo yani okay yeah sasa tutege me tutakuja kumwona madam hata tusikie hata kama ni mwaka ujao mwaka huu miezi ijayo madam ataingia kwenye ndoa tutege me madam atavaa shela unataka kusikia wapi unajuaje kama ni shaiva Eh kwa hiyo kwa hiyo kwa hiyo ni kivaa ni waite dizi mje na kamera. Kabisa madam ya mind tufanye coverage. Wewe ni mtu mkubwa sana. Mtabidi mlipe exclusive. Au tutaka kufanya kama majizo na dharuru. Sasa ya private. Hiyo hiyo haikuwa private. Mbafu umeshafanya private tena umerusha picha ikuwa si private. Hayo baadaye baada lakini siku ile tukio yenyewe yenyewe yani no one hamna mtu alikuwa na idea. Ah wewe sijui amisha labda nishafunga ndoa siku nyingi. Hongera. Hiyo itakuwa caption yako madam alifungaza ndoa. No lakini hata ikitokea sizani kama itakuwa hivyo public kama unavyofikiria. Mimi ni mtu ambaye napenda privacy yangu sana. Sizani kama hivyo vitu vinakuwa vinahusu sana hata mtu niko kwenye mahusiano naye kuonesha kwa watu. Sizani kama ni vitu baadaye vinaweza vikaja kukuhumiza wewe. Kwa sababu mimi uh, niko very sensitive na hujai kuwa hata mtu ajibu. Kwa hiyo sizani kama itakuwa hivyo. Yaani niko sensitive sana kwao sipendi i don't think vina manufaa kwa jamii vitu vyangu vinaponihusu sijui ni nini no so sizani kama utaona hiyo kama ikitokea au labda ishatokea utajuaje okay let's hope for the best to say me madam yetaje yeah. wanawake kuwa ni mara nyingi sana hapo umizwa wanawake walikuwa to take charge mm. tumeshaongelea kwenye upande wa mahusiano mimi nimeelezea mwanamke <coughs> alikuwa amesuka mpango mzima kwenye nyanda gani zingine in what other area mwanamke anaweza ku create part kupumiza au kukutaka kuweka chini je kwenye biashara kwenye BSS labda benchmark au mm-hmm. yeah, mimi nirudie tena niseme I'm sure kuna wanawake wengine wataona watanikasirikia lakini niseme mimi sio kwamba ni mwanamke mzuri sana labda na mimi kuna mtu nimewahi kumuumiza lakini mara zote ambazo nimekwama kwenye biashara especially kwenye mambo za biashara lazima kuna mwanamke behind it somehow somewhere i don't know why ni naweza kuzihesabu sio kwamba wanawake wote ni wabaya lakini wanawake ambao wako kwenye nyazifa za kuweza kusaidia wenzao especially kwa mambo ya kazi labda ni director of marketing au sijui ni nini vitu kama hivyo ambavyo sisi tunaenda wanapeleka proposal most of the time if it's a woman 
ni chance za hai kwamba hutopata hiyo kazi. Mimi nasema hivi ukweli. Sito jali kama hata kuna mtu atanitukana lakini kuna wanawake wengine ambao wako kanyama mimi wahangaikaji wameshapitia vitu kama hivyo. Unaona kuna ile mtu hivi atakwambia haitowezekana. This lady ni kama vile atakuwa akikona ha na yani kuna ile kama oh na wewe you know, kuna ile perception kwamba labda mtu unaonekana vizuri unafanya kazi yako vizuri unaona kama vile labda unaringa au nini so they are waiting for you to come to their to their to their to, to your lowest mm-hmm. yeah. lakini sio hivyo sasa zingine wanabidi uongee na mtu utamjua ni mtu aina gani kuliko kum, kumjaji kwa mbali kwa ni mara chache sana ambayo kuna wana wake of course ni watu wazuri wako wanafanya yani wana wana, wana, wana support lakini wengi wao kwenye hizi positions positions they just cut your throat they cut your throat you know like that so many times uh, na ni, ni kama nimepata experience nyingi ambazo mimi kama mimi ni mtu ambaye pia napataga matatizo mimi ni mtu ambaye sometimes kampuni haina hela mimi mtu ambaye pia nachukua mikopo mimi ni mtu ambaye pia napata na tax issues mimi ni mhangaikaji has they come Yaani sio kwamba eti mimi siwezi kupata tatizo la la deni mimi siwezi kupata tatizo la taxes mimi siwezi kupata mimi napata hayo yote na nimeshapitia I'm that I'm I come like that Naona kwa hiyo hiyo utakuta mwanamke mwenzako ambaye yuko kwenye authority fulani hivi ambayo uh, anaweza kukusaidia au anaweza kukuuliza Ona nimeosikia hivi kuna changamoto gani hapa tutakusaidiaje unajua sasa ingine kusaidia mtu sio lazima umpe hela anaweza akakushauri au akalegeza kidogo kwamba okay fanya hivi au yani maongezi fulani lakini mara zote nimewekwa kwenye scrutiny yani mimi nikikosea kidogo tu and uh, most of the time it's a woman ambaye anaibeba kama vile Eh, hey, kama vile it's personal how to make I don't know why. Umenielewa? Kwa hiyo mimi pia ni mtu, mimi pia na shida, mimi pia napata matatizo, mimi nalia pia. Unaona? Mimi nadaiwa pia. Eh? Mimi na hivyo. Kwa hiyo sio kwamba mimi niko super super yani hakuna vitu, yani kuna hiyo perception. Sio hivyo. Sio hivyo. Eh? Sio hivyo. Is that the reason why madam mara nyingi mimi nakuonaanga sana uko na wanaume sana? Ndio. Eh na master J. Tako nani una hang out nao sana. Sio wao tu. Ni crew yeah. Wako mm-hmm. wengi crew yako wengi ni wanaume inakufanya mm-hmm. uji u- isolate kidogo na wanawake. Mm-hmm. Is that the reason why? Mm. Mimi sijui ndio that's the reason why. Kwa sababu ah, sipendi matatizo. Alafu eh, like na hisi kama personality yangu ni kubwa kwa inafanya watu wanakuwa uncomfortable. Na mara nikijitahidi kujichanganya uh, na mia. They hurt me because <laughs> I don't know for some reason. Kwa hiyo mimi niseme tu kwamba we are women we are the worst to ourselves. Yaani sisi ni wabaya sana kwetu sisi wenyewe kuliko mtu yote. Na tuseme tu na gombani ya e, wanaume wana mistreat sisi wanawatu mistreat ni na nini. Hawawezi kututweet tofauti mpaka uh, sisi wenyewe tuanze kutwitiana tofauti non high tawezekana we have to change we have to support each other and stop ile ile kukrai oh women wanatuonea tunaoneana sisi wenyewe kwani wao watuone ehe kwa hiyo wamezoea kuonewana hata tuone nao you know to have to have solidarity yani ile au oh, rita unaona rita wewe umetokea kwenye gazeti mm. ni nini unadai hapo kuna shida gani huyo huyo ambaye anashikilia hiyo ambaye ni kiongozi ana na ni mwanamke ana hiyo ndo anakukaanga kabisa huyo una power ya kunikaanga kwa nini unatumia hiyo power ya kunikaanga mimi mwanamke mwenzio you know talk to me kwa sisi tukiwa na tukiwa na power as women tukiwa na, na, na business kubwa as women we we find a way to fix anybody you have an issue with which issue hakuna issue mara nyingi ni sijui ni nini oh anakuwa kama threat atajuaje maybe threat <laughs> hey, maybe unaona inakuwa ga hivyo you know kwa hiyo ah, man mimi mimi pia napata na, 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 matatizo mengi sana kama kama watu wote wa duniani hapa tena mia kubwa sana you know so um hiyo inasumbua ina, ina, ina sana mhm sana 
tena sana lakini mimi ni mtu ambaye nasikiliza kila mtu so i don't know what the problem is lakini women we are the, our own worst enemies wow some of the BSS members kutokupata hela zao kwa wakati au labda vitu kutokwenda sawa kwa BSS hapa ndani ya mwaka mmoja ni kama hakuepo au kuonekana labda kwa sababu kutokana na sponsors ku pull out kwa hivyo vitu vina involve pia sponsors sio kwamba siamini kwamba madam unatoa hela zako kwenye mkoni kuweza kufanikisha let's iko hivyo ah si haiko hivyo is that the reason why no sisi BSS kuna mwaka mmoja tu ambao tuli stop uh, kwa hiyo tulikosa sponsor. Tulikosa sponsor na na hiyo ni show ambayo inagarimu hela nyingi huwezi kujitutumua ukasema naifanya ili mradi tu watu wasikuseme kwamba ime. Well, of course wakatusema sana, mefuria, meisha, vitu vingi vingi. But mimi hivyo have nisumbue. Ndio siwezi nikiweza nitafanya. Kwa mwana mwaka ukaisha tukapambana mwaka mzima tuko tukaja tupata sponsorship hii ambayo tulionayo sasa hivi na na start times ya almost almost five years three years kwa hiyo uh, i do what i can kwa hiyo sisi ile kusema kwamba eti mashiriki hawajawahi kulipwa walipwa haijawahi kutokea washiriki wote wanalipwa bss ilianza tangu 2006 kwa hiyo hii hela ya ya hiyo iliyoleta hiyo makelele yote ilikuwa ni milioni shirini tu ambazo bss final ilifanyika december Eh tena Christmas tena Christmas tarehe 25 watu wote wako manyumbani corona ndo imeanza makampuni makampuni yamefungwa kwa hiyo kusema na kweli ile ilikuwa ni 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 ni, ni kuchelewa tu sio kwamba yetu hela zilikuwa hata hazipo ilikuwa ni kuchelewa kwa hiyo tulimpa hela kidogo tukaambia tukitokana naye mambo yote tutafanya nini tutamalizana hii kitu mimi nikafiwa na shemeji yangu mpenzi kipindi hicho nafikiri umeulisikia kwa hiyo ilikuwa ni wakati mgumu kidogo. Kwa hiyo ile ilikuwa ni ni kuchelewa kidogo tu mambo ya kikazi. Sio kwamba eti eti kwamba actually tulikuwa hiyo shida ipo kwa sababu sisi tuna mkataba wa miaka zaidi ya mitatu. Kwa hiyo pale mkataba wa yani, yani hata kama tusingekuwa na hizo hela muda ule ule na tulikuwa hatuna maybe kutokana na kazi. Lakini mkataba upo uko valid. Kwa hiyo tunachukua hela tata times ya ku tunamlipa tunaendelea tunaendelea mle mle au vipi yeah au do you know worried we're just waiting for things to to work to come work out na tu, na kipindi hicho kilikuwa kina kipindi kigumu kidogo kutokana na uh, mambo ya kazi kwa hiyo hiyo ikaenda eh hey, mada ghafla watu wanitukana wakasahau miaka kumi yote nilofanya kazi zangu vizuri na wakupatia kiki humo humo na ifanya umenielewa. Kwa hiyo 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 hatujawahi kukosa kulipa mshindi hata siku moja. Mtachelewa tena huyu huyo huyo mwaka jana labda ye, uh, kuna wakati tulikuwa tume yani kama Walter halilipwa baada ya miezi mitano. Naona ya yeah. miezi mitano nafikiri na nusu sababu client wetu alikuwa anatulipa after 90 days afu akawa kuna hizo tulikuwa tunafanya na Zante. Ni vitu vya kawaida kwenye biashara lakini kabla mtu hujashikia bango hicho kitu na una wadhifa ongea na hawa watu kwa sababu hivi vitu vinavunja moyo ukikukuta huko nganga kama mimi hapa unaachana na hizi shughuli kwa sababu inafedhehesha ukijisikia ndani kwako unajua wewe sio mtu wa style hiyo unaumia unakumiza sana unaweza ukaacha na kino watu kwanza vinanisaidia nini have nisaidi chochote yani una passion ya kufanya hicho kitu na nini wala like, you know what i can invest in something else Ha. Lakini hiyo mimi nayo wito nayo. Na kwa nimesema naachana nayo afu narudia na nayo. Yaani unaelewa? Yaani sio kwamba eti ni kitu mimi kinanifaidisha kivile. You know, kila mara kinaniacha kwenye matatizo kama hayo. Lakini bado ninakifanya. <laughs> na mengine mengine hayo. Kwa hiyo hiyo ni sema kwamba hiyo hatujai kosa kulipa mtu na ni changamoto ndogo dogo hapa na pale ambazo kila mfanya biashara anazo you know of course niko sawa kila kitu kiko sawa kila kitu kiko sawa kwa hiyo vimetufundisha kwamba 
it doesn't matter how much vitu vina you are anything can change and just ruin you so tumekuwa careful na vitu fulani fulani as i speak mshindi anaisha kupata hela zake na wanaumpatia mshapata mazawadi zao we good sasa akini kama hapo ukifanya kitu kizuri hauwezi kusikia sifa hauwezi kusikia unaambiwa una uh, well done a uh-uh. a unangojea mtu aseme sijalipwa aha uh-huh. yani sisi wa Tanzania tuna hiyo issue hata kama sasa hivi nimeweza kufanya BSS eh, nyingine hiyo after yale matatizo mtu aniundii kwamba ongera ulifanyaje yani imewezekanaje ukarudi uka, uka, tena bounce kwa bounce back badala ya kuniuliza hivyo atanuuliza matatizo ya miaka tano iliyopita kati mimi ukiniuliza nikaeleza nime bounce vipi kuna mtu atakuwa inspired atafanya kama mimi ata oh yeah to- unaweza ukaungushwa hivi na ukaamka. Wanaona kwamba sio mwisho wa dunia. You understand? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tujifunze tu kuwa tunatoa credit where it is. Inasaidia especially kama mtu umehangaika sana, mtu akakwambia well done. Sio hela lakini inakupa unajisikia vizuri asikudanganye mtu. Inajisikia vizuri. Kusi kutoa credit au kuon kuon pia mtu yeah. unajisikia vizuri. You feel good like wow, someone noticed. Mhm. Okay. Mhm. Um na 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 ilewa kabisa kwamba kazi yenu ni kujudge. Mhm. Kutathmini, kuangalia, kutoa maoni ma, ma, maoni yenu kwa au uh, wale washiriki wa BSS. Mm-hmm. Na mara nyingi ninasikia na, na, especially Master J na Dani. <laughs> kwamba umeiwa vizuri kuliko wale <laughs> wale wengine au ambao wako kwenye bongo flavor eh au wale wana hipo wengine. Right? Na nyie mko close na hawa wasanii. Mnakaga na hawa wasanii sema bwana hapo umevuruga kwenye live. Hebu na sisi tu, tu labda tuwasaidie imbeni hivi. Tungeni nyimbo hivi. Produce nyimbo hivi. Ipa hivi. Mnafanya hivi. Master ndo anasemaga hivyo. Mimi sijawahi kusema hivyo. Kwa hiyo hiyo swali cha umuulize. Au wale anaokuwa na wasema anakuwa anasema kina nani? Mimi hiyo kauli sijawahi kusema tupokuwa naweza kujua labda anamaanisha nini. Lakini yeye kama producer na ana, labda ana vitu vyake anamaanisha. Unaona? So siku ukimuita hapa, mwambie anakuelezea vizuri kwa sababu uh, he says that a lot. Ana yeye anajua mapungufu au vitu ambavyo vijakasa kwenye industry some kind of thing. So yeah, hiyo ni swali umulize master. Mimi sisemagi wale ah ah kwa sababu mimi wale wote safi tu. <laughs> <laughs> Lakini pia madam <laughs> najua umeshanijibu hivi sana ukasema kwamba hamusiki na vitu uh, vingine nyie ni kazi yenu ni kuigua vipaji mtaleta watu wengine kuweza kusaidia mm. as in management mm. lakini haikuumizi pale ambapo kuoni kwa wingi kwamba kila mshiriki wa Bongo Stars au hata mshindi ambaye ameshinda akashine na kawa kati ya A-list artist nchini uh, ndani ya nchi ya Tanzania sababu so, American Idol wanatoa hawatoi mtajie no kuna artist nani anawa manage Fantasia alikuwa ni namba 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 hakuwa hata mshindi wa kwanza akufika hata namba 2 haya nani ana manage wana management kali za kufa mtu wale watoto sasa inategemea wewe ukisema mafanikio una unataka kuongea nini mimi Mhm. Sasa nyinyi kila mtu yote mnataka fanane na Alikiba, kila mtu mnataka awe kama Diamond. Unaona? Kwa hiyo mafanikio ya Alikiba unayajua au mafanikio ya Diamond unayajua? Wewe unayajui. Aha, mnataka na mnajua wako popular na vitu kama hivyo. Lakini uh, kuna vitu vingi sana ambavyo vinachangia uh, watu kuto kutokusikika. Lakini mimi nikiongea kwa haraka haraka washindi wangu wawi ambao na e, Walter Chilambo ana ni alikuwa ni mshindi Walter Chilambo alipata 50 milioni akaamua fanya nini kwa sababu game yenyewe ya muziki ni ngumu kidogo kwa hiyo Walter ana, ana akaingia gospel wewe sio msindaji wa gospel wewe unajua Walter ni star wa gospel kwa hiyo Walter ni, mshi, ni mshiriki wa nani ni mshiriki wa sawa BSS kwa hiyo sasa Walter Chilambo mafanikio yake ya, 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 ya gospel tamlinganisha na mafanikio ya Galikiba Oh yeah, Diamond. Kila mtu ana mafanikio yake. Walter ana sasa hivi ana studio yake mwenyewe. Ana ana ana, ana ameajiri watu. Anaimba gospel kila siku yuko Nairobi, si yuko wapi. Wewe mafanikio kila mtu ana mafanikio yake. Haya, 
kuna pasco kasian pasco kasian paka ni 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 pasta ana mafanikio yake hadi ramadhani alikuwa tulimtoa tulimkuta mwanza alikuwa ni fundi selemara wa barabarani wale wanachonga vile vikiti vya barabarani unajua zile hivyo hadi ramadhani amekushinda bss amekuja hapa amekaa hapa nina nini Haji Ramazan sasa hivi yuko hata ukimpigia hivi mmoja siku moja mwe mnawaita waongee unaona kwa sababu wana testimony zao kwa Ramadhan Ramadhan ndo ndo head of that twanga peter band Haji Ramazan has a family here Haji Ramazan mimi juzi hapa sometime back na cross pale na manga naona gari imesimama na mcheki mbe ni Haji huyu hapa ah na madam pita hivi kwa mimi mafanikio sijui mnataka mkisema nyinyi mngekuwa mnajua wanatokea wapi paka hata mje kujua jina zao unanielewa hapa sasa hivi ninaongelea yuzo lakini nyinyi hamjui historia ya yuzo paka mumuongelee yuzo paka hiyo investment paka mje muongelee yuzo paka sasa hivi it's not a joke kwa nyinyi inabidi mwache kuwa mnakompea wewe na wanzako wengine mwache kuwa mnakompea mafanikio kila mafanikio mimi mafanikio yangu sio kama ya model jamani lakini mimi sio sio kwamba ni maskini na umefanikiwa kwa wote ehe kwa sisi wote mnataka tuwe modelji kwa hiyo mafanikio kila mtu ana mafanikio yake in, in different ways kwa maamuzi yao wenyewe umenielewa kwa hiyo ya yeah, one day lakini ndio hivyo watakuja kuwafikia hao vitu kama hivyo lakini the fact kwamba kila tukishiriki tukifanya uh, mashindano watu wanashiriki wanaelewa inawasaidia nini naona wako wengi wamepita wanafanya vitu vya wengine ni kama Frida yeah, amepita wapi amepita hapo yeah. kuna huyo amemuona ame Sarafina Hey, hao kuna kuna eh, baadaye mtakuja kuwaelewa kadi wanavyokuwa wengi mtakuja kuelewa hao wana vitu vyao wanafanya wana mafanikio yao lakini we have to stop comparing people with mafanikio ya watu hey, mtu leo alikuwa ana 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 tachonga nani mbao huko keko leo hapa anaendesha gari kushinda hata ya mimi ana studio yake ana studio nini unataka kuniambia hana mafanikio wamejenga manyumba yao unatokuniambia wana mafanikio reason why mimi nawapaga hela as zawadi kwa sababu asipotoka kimziki atafanya kitu kingine <laughs> so the biggest part here yes talent and all that but my intention is changing someone's life na wengine wanaelewa ni kwa ah hii game ngumu inabidi uende kuhonga ma DJ si nini anaamua kwenda kujifanya biashara zake fanya vitu vyake kuna mshindi mmoja ambaye alishinda yuko huko kwa mara huko. He's a initajiri atari. Alichukua milioni zake 50, ka invest kwenye vitu vyake vinginevyo, anaimba kanisani. Lakini <laughs> aliniambia madam mimi unajua anaendesha gari gani na nenda anaendesha Freelander. Alikuwa gani boda boda driver. Unanielewa? Akaniambia unaona anatumia anatumia ngi success zake ana hizo gari sijui kama ngapi daradara ni za kwake ana studio ya kule kodi wa wanamuziki wa, wa gospel ana sijui nini ana production company ya kule kodi video za watu wa gospel ana amefungua branch Dodoma amefungua Moshi ni mtu wa ehe na hapa Dar es Salaam somewhere in their own way mimi nitakuja kukutumia vitu vyake uone unanielewa oh. anaelesha msingo wa gari kama ule wa miladai <laughs> you no know? so it's like huyo jamaa alikuwa ni boda boda kwa sababu tunafuatiliaga tunaenda kwa sangine hadi makwao tunafanya historia tu kwa hiyo mimi yani hayo kwangu mimi ni mafanikio makubwa sana change someone's life change you know mtoto anasoma shule ana 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 anaajiri watu wengine kutokana na kitu ulichokimfanyia yeye wewe mafanikio kweli zaidi sawa lakini hiyo kubwa mna watu wana 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 wanasema hawasaidii bob watu ukibadilisha mtu mmoja kwenye 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 nchi wanasema ndo ndodo si chururu ni watu you know umebadilisha maisha ya mtu mmoja yule mtu atabadilisha maisha ya watu wengine na mwingine na mwingine na mwingine so jamani afanya kazi nzuri ongea baada ongea sana kwa hicho ambacho unaweza kukifanya na kusaidia mm-hmm. watu kwa nini madam sio mtu abisi madam ni all weather fit tuseme anasema all weather mimi ni all weather person. Yeah. Ndio mtare huyo. Eh anasema yeye ni all weather. Yaani always kumkuta katika janja. Huku yuko huko. Ndio madam na yeye naona. Yaani wewe. It's cold. Mm. I like it like that. Yaani madam huko. 
kote kote yani wewe huna sides mm. wewe ukakuta kama kuna beef sio watu plana hizi kuonyeshana na baada mkakuta na labda kuna watu plana boss kuonyeshana baada mnamkuta kote kwani <laughs> unajua kuta kuongereshana kuruniana mtu unajua ni kazi ngumu sana inawachosha <laughs> wewe juje taribu siku mimi umeona mtu mimi urasi msalimi ile zile effort za kujifanya msalimi inachosha it's a lot of work <laughs> Yaani ukicha ukishampita hivi utai umsalimia ukifika huko unajisikia oh god that was too much. Sio msalimia. What the hell? Mimi ukiniuzi nitakwambia hapo hapo. Na naweza tukagombana hata ngumi. There and then tutagombana hapo hapo. Nimeishia hapo. Mimi sina hiyo kusema kwamba eti nina nina nakukasirikia sijui nini nini. Sometimes naweza nikaamua eti nimekasirikia nikasahau kwamba oh ili bidi ni mkasirikie. Yaani nikuta niko na hadi baadaye niko acha. Kule ilikuwa tumekasirikia sio? Hivyo yani. <laughs> so ah uh, yeah mimi ya first front afusizani kama hivyo vitu vya bifu vinasaidia kwa sababu unajitengenezea negative energy. Mimi nataka nikutane na watu ni have fun ni cheke na watu niongee na watu. Yaani hizo vitu vya mabifu bifu vinachosha. I want my mind to focus on more important things. Actually, sinaga bifu na mtu as in sinaga team mtu team nini. Lakini well, si sijui nikwambieje. I just love to just be happy. You know, kwa sababu ni rafiki wa kila mtu. Haviniingi, maybe I'm too confident. Hasioni sababu. It's none of my business. Yaani mimi so It's not about my business. Yani it's about me. Paka wanasema wewe Rita too much about you. Yeah, vitu vinavyofurahisha Rita muhimu sana. Hivyo vingine. <laughs> <laughs> yani sina time basically. Sina time ya kufikiria kwani niwe team fulani. Wewe niwe team. I don't have that time at all. Yani uwezi kuniconvince eti nikushadalie eh mabango kwamba mimi team huyo mimi. No, nitasahau yule ambayo si team yako nitamsifia uko kwenye Instagram. Ah oh, wow. Ah <laughs> sasa friend mbona umeharibu? So simo. Ni kitu kile ambacho kipindi nitakuwa kimetandaa kijamii. Ah mimi sipendi zile wanawekaga watoto wadogo. Hicho kitu kinaniumizaga sana. Sipendi. Kaongelea vibaya. Sidhani kama ni sahihi kwa sababu uh, watoto wadogo hawana haki na hawajui kama wako pale na baadaye watakuja kukua jinsi walivyoweka labda haitokawa mefutika and they might not really like it kwa sababu haujui huyo mtoto anapokuja kuwa atakuwa nani atakuwa mtu aina gani je atapenda mtandao au hatopenda mtandao kwa hiyo naona kwamba sio sahihi okay. kuna wewe mama mm. na umepata mtoto cha view ya mimi mm. kama ina tofauti wote na kajala because what eh hey, umeleta tena ah ah so warning no nasema <laughs> Uh, tunaongelea afu huu ni mwezi wa wanawake na jiwe mm. it's, uh, it's our month and um, kuna issue ambayo imetokea kwa mitandao ya kijamii and what not mtoto sijui nini mwambia kesi what's your take on this uh, kama ulivyosema kwamba wezi nyo mtoto atakuja kwa nani because wazazi nao wana play part kubwa sana sasa so, hivi kila save everything is about social media and, like, what's your take on that a mimi naomba nisimwongelee kajara and mimi sipendi kuongelea majina ya watu kwa hiyo even Uh, uh, kila watu wana ma challenges yao kwa hiyo nilikuwa naomba this one ni skip sipendi kuzungumzia watu ambao vitu hapo ni hususan sana nimeshakurudi pale niulize mimi kuhusu watoto wangu na mambo yanao ni husu mimi lakini simependa kumwongelea kajala na mtoto wake Mungu anisamehe nisamehe kwa bure una watoto wawili na umekitete kubwa sana. Mm. Uh, ni ambacho unaoma sana isitokee kwa watoto wako. Na ni kitu ambacho kishatokea wewe pia au labda ni sehemu ambazo na wewe pia umeshakupita na sema na mambo ya kushimba Ili kitu ambacho naomba kisiwatokee watoto wangu ni kifo tu. Vitu vingine vyote wamesha miss. Yaani havi vimeshapita. Havitokaa viwatokee. Ambapo nimetokea mimi. Nimewatengenezea mazingira hawatokaa wapitie matatizo niliyopitia mimi hata boy shot pita so long time. Kwa hiyo hapa ni kuombea tu heri uzima na afya bora. 
watoto wangu wote wana masters degrees wamesoma vizuri wana familia yani yani haya mambo mambo ni hawatokawa pitie yani katika mafanikio yangu katika maisha yangu mafanikio yangu makubwa ni ya watoto wangu wameni wamenifanya mimi very very proud you know hata kama nikitembea na bajaji hata kama nikiamua kutembea na, na miguu inside me i'm a very very proud person yani wamenifuta machozi wamenifanya wame ni watoto bora sana inaona this one why stake hata muone msije mkanitetea husta kwanza ni wazuri hatari <laughs> alafu ni wasomi you know hawajai kuni kuniangusha labda pia you know hawajai kuni kuniangusha hawajawahi ku, kuni yani sijui ni semeje Mungu awatunze kusema na kwende been i am they been good kids maybe also was good mother don't know yes maybe yes they turned out exactly nilichokuwa na muomba Mungu na zaidi na zaidi kwa hiyo hiyo vitu ndio pia hiyo wameshavuka base ni nzuri sana ndio iweka uh, ni wana wanajeshimu wana wamesoma vizuri sana na hawako mtaani wanazunguruka zunguruka wana actually they both have a very good serious life going on and wow. yeah i'm very very proud kuna very very proud of them yani hicho ni kitu mmoja katika mafanikio yangu kwenye maisha ndio hicho yani hata leo mungu akisema ah now rita is enough you can me i'm okay i have done yani as in si kuna kitu kinaweza kunifaisha zaidi ya status ya watoto wangu ngero yes na tunamalizia hapa rita alikuwa na ndoto na labda part of that part ya hiyo ndoto ile kamilika to some part sasa hivi mm. rita baada ya ndoto mbili au bado kuna ile ndoto ambayo bado kwa nayo hajaweza kuitimiza ndoto zinaadhimishaji bwana eh, unajua yule mtu alianzisha KFC alianza kuwa tajiri mmoja akamingapi unakumbuka eh yes. sasa <laughs> ndoto zinaacha kuwepo mpaka labda uwe umekufa kwa hiyo kila kitu kina stage zake nazo zinginezo nyingi tu yani you stop think dreaming you stop working you stop uh, pursuing things that means you are dead or you are sick as long as mungu akinipa afya njema mimi bado kuna vitu vingine nataka nilifanye what you do hiyo <laughs> dreams wewe nikakwambia nitakia kunibia ideas zangu <laughs> Eh hey, una vitu vingine wewe unasema vikiwa vimeshatokea kama vijatokea utakuwa na visipotokea utajidisappoint kwa hiyo mimi tu nita, mimi mambo yangu yanakuwa slow but sure si i'm not a flaunting person and i think kwa mdole unaonijua kwa hiyo sio ina kuna brag brag hapana naongea kwa matendo na inaelewa tunaongea kwa matendo na sio karibu sio karibu kila kitu kiwe kinajulikana na kila mtu kuna vitu vingine sio lazima labda haviko kwenye industry ambayo mmeizoea lakini vinaendelea. Umenielewa? Kwa hiyo kuna vitu vingine viko vinaendelea mtu anavifanya yake yeye mwenyewe na labda sio public interest. Okay. Mm. Iki, ikitokea kwamba kuna kampuni ambayo imetaka kuleta the voice um, au zile mashindano mengine ya kui, kama unavyofanya BSF mm-hmm. the voice Americans the talent X factor American mm. idol zikaja hapa nchini Tanzania and how pay vote mm-hmm. wasikuweke wewe katika mm-hmm. mipango hiyo utakuwa shake mbona vishatokea uh, Africa South Africa got talent ilikuepo lakini I was not involved lakini tulifanya pamo BSS back to back wanafanya sisi tunafanya au oh, alikuwa anarusha siku fulani sisi tunarusha siku fulani so ni ni kwele ni how, how much can I explain myself I wasn't shake ilikuepo so najua right okay. sasa kwa hiyo ilikuepo ilikuwa inafanyika muda mmoja ilikuemo Vanessa ilikuemo sisi nani kipindi hicho inaendelea na sisi tulikuwa tunaendelea okay coin nothing i'm like kitu ambacho kinaweza kubadilisha nishakwambia tulikuwa tunaendelea kwani silikuwa inaendelea sasa ndio maana hizo zote ziko huko Ulaya zipo ma talent iko go talent yani hivyo vyote vipo bila coexist kila mtu ana vision yake unaona mimi naendelea labda labda nikifanya watu wasipige mstari. So as long as watu watakuja kushiriki na sponsor yupo. Mm. Nakosaje? Mimi ndio mwenyewe, yani as in, in my head. Mm. Yeah man. Kwa hiyo zishakuja. Zishakuja mbona? Zishakuja. 
Eh hey, zishakuja zishakujaga hapa zile ile ya Kenya walikuja audition walikuwa nafanya. Ukiwa na sisi kwetu tunawasaidia kufanya kuwafanyia auditions. Angalau pale mimi ah na ni mjui vizuri. Naona unjui vizuri. Eh 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 ndio hivyo ndio maana unaona kuna ma TV kibao kuna Azam kuna Dizm sio kuna nini kuna nini kuna. Yeah sasa ikiwa una shake unakuwa shaken wezi wezi anzisha kitu kwa sababu vina mfanana ni vingi sana. No? na wenye power ni wengi sana. Kwa watu wengine TV fulani hivi wana power labda wana, wana, wana finances nyingine hawana lakini wapo wanapabana. Kila mtu ana share yake kwenye dunia hii. Somewhere or somewhere. Because I have the vision, the vision is mine. No gonna shake me. Kila mtu atakula kwa urefu wa kamba yake. <laughs> Bado kuna shida na the ghost of work kwa sababu mara nyingi nimeona Audition. Ima nyimbo nyingine. Hebu badilisha wimbo. Yaani mtu kama kiba nyimbo ya gospel. Ni ni ni, ni, ni tactical kwamba sura hata imba tu kila siku gospel au ni kwamba wao wanaweza kachukua kama ah madam ana issue yani na mtu ambaye anaimba gospel. Sasa for information mimi natoka kwenye mdii familia ya ya, ya kijini sana. Na hapa Dar es Salaam kuna kanisa moja iko na inaitwa Lind Street. Mimi nilikuwa naimba pale kanisani kwa uh, morning service ya Kiingereza na miaka mingi kanisa ya Pentecost mimi ni mcha Mungu sana na napenda gospel sana na i can sing in church yes i went to tangu primary school mimi nimesoma uh, shule ya kikatoliki why man mpaka secondary so mimi ni mtu wa dini sana na nakubaliana na Mungu sana sana yani so i'm blessed i am a god believer i tanguliza god everywhere. Pale mimi nikuambia hivyo na kuwa na jaribu kuwa 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 kuwashauri wawe na John Mostofauti. Kwa sababu kwenye BSS inabidi kuna kuna mtu akienda mbele akifika labda kwenye top 10 nini kuna kuaga kuna teacher na swala leo kuna simu hii. This this time utaimba nyimbo labda za simu hii. Labda African whatever wale eh wewe utafanya reggae. Labda wewe utafanya tarabu. Labda wewe kwa pale ninakuwa na wa, na wauliza kama wanaweza just in case kwa sababu hapo unakuwa nimeshaona kama ana kipaji. Je, hiki kipaji kiko hapa tu au anaweza kufanya na kitu kingine? Unanielewa kwa sababu kuna wengine hawezi. Sio kwamba ha, sauti yake hawezi, lakini labda dini kwa dini yako hawamruhusu kuimba nyimbo za kidunia. Kwa hiyo inakuwa nimewawahi ili wasiingie matatizo. Kwa pale mimi nakuaga na 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 na, 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 na kea tu kwamba sija kaingia matatizo wakamtenga. Ameimba nyimbo za kidunia. Wengine wanasema no 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 I can wanaingia huko then baadaye labda akifanya vizuri akishinda au akifanya vizuri anarudi kwenye gospel yake. Lakini pale ni kwamba nakuwa na, wa, na kama na wa alert kama hey you might be kicked out because of not being able kuimba vitu vinginevyo. Lakini mimi sina tatizo la gospel kabisa. <laughs> As tunapo malizia kuna shida kati um, eti kuna shida tena. Um wakati tunamalizia kuna connection kati ya Madam Brita na Oprah. Ha ha ha. Connection yote mimi naye tunazaliwa mwezi mmoja. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mimi naye ni star sign moja. Yeye yani tunazaliwa February sisi ni wanawake wa February sisi ni wanawake fulani kama wewe hapo. <laughs> <laughs> Kwa hiyo ni sisi fulani hivi ni wanawake fulani hivi ambao yani personality yetu ni kubwa sana. So mimi ni, ni mimi ni mtu ambaye na yeye ndio role model wangu. Yani ya, nampenda sana kwa sababu ana kama historia yake alivyo nafikiri wangu wengi mnajua yani ni kwani kimfuatilia sana maisha yake ni salivyo kuja kuwa mtu maarufu vitu alivyopitia na kama kama vile na connect naye fulani hivi na energy yake so mpaka sasa hivi wewe unasema kwamba you know she's older lakini ndo kwanza anaanzisha vitu vipya i'm sure mimi ninamfuatilia sasa hivi kipindi chake yani she's she's one of the richest women in the world you understand from this girl uko ambaye alikuwa na kasi juu kwenye street gani huko. So ananiinspire sana sana sana. Na yani my dream is kukutana naye my life. Ninaweza. Hiyo <laughs> ndio one of them. One of them ni muone tv au ni attend. I'm working on it. One day I think I will. Mimi Mungu ananipaga vitu ninavyovitaka. One day I'll see her before I die. <laughs> so ananiinspire sana 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 tunajikuta kama um, we have the same character na yeye pia yuko ni mtu ambaye yuko emotional uh evil yani kwa ali relate to her so so much so so much kama ukimwangalia vizuri ukiangalia mimi vizuri yes, kuna vitu vina relate you know yes that's a really powerful show 
narudi pia mm-hmm. naona kama ilikuepo then kwa muda kama nisimama mm-hmm. hivi tell me about that ina rudi the potential to ile ile ilikuwa do season 1 kwa hiyo ita tulipa break kidogo tumeambanzana na BSS lakini tunafanya tena season 2 kwa sababu hicho kipindi kilikuwa kilikuwa kina air uh, azam tena baadaye kaja kawa kina air tbc kwa hiyo kime kwa rotated so many times which is a good thing so najipanga kufanya season mpya uh, ambayo uh, itakuwa na mtazamo mpya kidogo yeah mimi katika vitu napenda kufanya hata kushinda bss ni rita paul sensho yani naipenda sana sana na najisikiaga vizuri sana kuifanya yani sana yani hiyo nafikiri nitaifanya mpaka niwe na miaka mia <laughs> kama nitakuwa nimefika huko yani ni kitu nakipenda sana 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 umidimpo sepi na Christian Bale ni watu ambao watarudi kwenye BSS next season. <laughs> eh? Yaani watu wote ambao ukiona hawajarudi ni kwamba sio kwamba sisi hatujataka wao warudi labda inakuwa ni kwamba uh, kuna labda contracts zikataba eh, kama hivyo lakini tuna tunawapenda tuna, tuna, tuna sana. Kama watakuwa wana hiyo nafasi hakuna tatizo wao kuli kwa sababu tumefanya nao kazi vizuri. Kwa hiyo mara nyingi ukiona mtu hayupo kuna kuwa kuna either that ya ana mambo ya fulani fulani hivi. Lakini yeah, they were great. Yaani <laughs> watu ambao wanafurahisha sana. <laughs> My last last question. Uh, Na tufunge. Ungetamani watu wakukumbuke vipi? Mada pita. Watu wa Tanzania dunia inakumbuke vipi mada pita? Mimi niko wakati mgumu sana kujisifi kujiongelea mimi mimi ndio <laughs> swali nafikiri maisha ona in fight magazine nimesha ona msija kuletea hiyo aniuliza hiyo swali mimi nipenda watu wanikumbuke kama mtu ambaye uh, through my own capacity i managed to change people's lives by ni kwa njia ambayo nyingi is not tangible moyo sikuelewa but uh, one of those another thing manikumbuke kama mtu ambaye ni ni hustler i don't give up and i'm a kind person and uh sio ni kwa nini vingine wewe unaonaje kwa mfano ya mama hango because naona ni disfear mimi sijui kwa sababu ndio hivyo lakini mainly mimi najua kuna watu wengi nimebadilisha maisha yao in one way or another hiyo ndo success yangu. Hiyo ndo legacy yangu. That's my legacy. The amount of lives I have touched. Live alone BSS. You know even when you look at someone and smile at them and recognize them and listen to them, you you unakuwa umechange life yake. Unaweza kuwa umechange life yake wewe bila kujua. Unanielewa? So I have I I think I have done that a lot. I have touched so many people's lives in different ways either by kuwapa na uh, ni kuwapa kuwapa ni semeni ni kuwapa um, uh, attention yangu na pia kuwasaidia financially mimi na mtu alikuwa ana ni gardener wangu lakini sasa hivi ni ni ni, ni, ni mtu ana kama production kama yenu ya siwezi kumtaja jina alikuwa ni mtu anafagia so ni mtu ambaye ulikunitokea mimi i see through your like, person has anatona naweza na, kutoa nafasi kwa mtu and because mimi nimewepewa nafasi kwenye maisha yangu. Kwa hiyo I am that person. I see through your books, your degrees, your looks. I want I see, I'm like you want to change I can if I can help like that. I'm that kind of person. So yeah. Mimi nikumbuka um wakati wa msiba. Samani tutaki back there. Nikumbuka and I really want to nataka kufahamu ni kutoka hapo. Ni wakati wa msiba wa mengi um tulikuona you were very very sad na ulikuwa unaambia kwa ukiumbu sana ulikwepo pale um nipate nafasi ya kusave bye any kind of thing maybe prior kati ya naumwa maybe even a phone call any did you get the opportunity to do that no does that hurt you not to be able. No, well, uh it's like um uh, Yes, it does one or another. I saw him uh, through his funeral. I just say hello. That's it. <coughs> Matia. 
I never got to say that to him. Yeah. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Well, yeah, I didn't, I didn't get that chance. Mm, it's something that uh, I will forever think about, not only about that, but that particular person. Uh, um, I didn't expect that it would happen, but you know, he, just the death for him dying is it's, it's big enough to make me feel sad because he's someone I would have wanted to. Aishi Mudamrif Zaidi, a good person. Um, um, I, you know, like I wished him happiness and longer life. That was my wish for him every day. So, well, no, I guess that's uh, that's what it was. We had to just just to go. Yeah. Uh, I forever pray for him to rest in peace, of which I think he will. Um, yeah. Any other question? <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. And yes. I'm sure I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. But, I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. 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 I'm I'm sorry. 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 i so now sana na kukunifanya cheke you're very funny be blessed, I say. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for so blessing Saint Edition. Yes, ni funge. Yes, mtazamaji wa Zikam TV, uh, Zay's edition, my edition. Nimefikia mwisho. And ilikuwa na Madam Rita. And of course, and then you may enjoy. Mimi nime kwa inspired. Nime toko kusema hapa. I've been very inspired. I hope you've been inspired too. Madam Rita ni mama. Na nifanya biashara. Na ni mtu wa all weather. Ni mtu mbae na penda kufraisha mtu. Ni mtu mbae anajiali watu. Lakini usimu ingilie. Vibaya. <laughs> Amta enda sawa. Ukifanya hivo. So huyo nalikuwa Madam Rita. And of course, Keep in check in a Rudy very soon uh, for season two. And of course, you'll see me PMC Mungini wa BSS. And I'm sure it was Zaidi. Sweet Savi to Kwaku Wakabisa, Kusio Kuwa and Alusu. It's a Kwaku Zaidi, yeah. Ilivokuwa last season. Thank you very much for sticking with me. My name is Suzette McKenzie. Now, Kumusha to Adelea, who uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel with just one name, Jism Online. Don't forget to hit the notification button. And also, don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms, such as Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook. And Twitter, with just one name, Jazz um, Online. And of course, Waku follow. Madam, can I talk on follow? Miss Paulson. MS. MS. Paulson. MS. Paulson. Right? For your Instagram, please follow account. Yake, Akisha, when I end up on your account, you can follow, 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 like, and continue to be a bit of a take up, Madam Rita, on your page. Yake. My name is Suzette Mackenzie, and I am signing out like this, the sweet. Same place, same time, and I hope the next case will be amazing. God bless you. Take care.